There are, yeah. Right, we are starting our special, special mention to the music here. It's, uh, it's a new track by No Taker. Uh, it's perfect, it's called The Storm. If uh, my memory serves me correct, someone will correct me if that's not right. And I think it is a really, really good fit for what we're about to do. The hovercraft is a returning favorite. Yeah, why not, you know, just yeah. jump in a hovercraft with your mates to... Uh... This is how we travel between <laughs> islands in the UK. We saw hovercraft everywhere. You would be amazed. I was doing it myself the other day. <laughs> right, here we go. In the TRX, which is uh, brand new, brand new to the game, in the pack. Looks like some sort of cave formation. Well, what do you reckon, Beck? Shall we put the best of one here? Yeah, this beach was a lot of fun. Uh, it's inspired by a black sand beach in Iceland, which is like typical basalt formations and caves. Around. So black sand is yeah. a thing in the real world? It is a thing. They are like all around Scotland and Iceland. You can find some uh, black sand beach for like some volcanic sands. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. I've never, ever heard of that. That is absolutely crazy. And it's really fitting for the, for the mood of this pack where everything is designed to be more like, rugged, um, but breathtaking. Yeah. Speaking it is of, absolutely stunning. Speaking of breathtaking. Yeah. Whoa, so there's one of our new features, lightning. Yes, lightning. Finally, oh, finally, finally. 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 <laughs> so we've wanted it for so long. Yeah, I think lightning has been on the on our feature backlog since Horizon 2. Sure. Uh, and every project they were we never really had time to uh, give it justice. So this time we went all in. You know, we knew we wanted lightning strike for a long time. We went through like hundreds of reference to try to figure out what makes lightning unique and perfect. So we have a whole new sky here, uh, which has been shot in, in the UK as well, uh, with like dramatic clouds all through the day. So this is an entire brand new sky. This is an entire Actually, brand new sky. Tank. Yeah, that you can... Ooh, oof, mm. there we go. Watch out, Craig! <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, I, I saw it coming, it's all right. This might not be the first time you've driven this. No, I've never seen it before. This, this is, this is all totally yep. new to <laughs> Well, you did really well avoiding it. Um, but getting back to the sky, it looks incredible. The mood, the way all the clouds are like popping with the light. Yeah, there's something interesting with, uh, with lightning. So our VFX artists really have done themselves with that. So all lightnings look a little bit different, a little bit unique, just like in the real world. You have uh, in the, the way, in the shape it has, the way it unfolds, how long it lingers in the air uh, before dissolving into bits of electricity. Uh, the color also change uh, ever so slightly, which is more visible in HDR, if you yep. have a chance to have a HDR TV. Yeah. But it's not the only surprise you will find in this sky. No, that's true. And I think we can just start seeing glimpses Sorry, of... Peter. Yep, do you want to let us know what that is? Uh, well, I think it's by itself. So what are we seeing here? Yeah, it's the Aurora Borealis. So as we move really far up north, um, we could see the Aurora Borealis in, in the sky. It's also something we wanted to do in Sunrise. Yep. Yep. We didn't really have time, um, so we really wanted to bring it back here. Um, so the Aurora Borealis is a unique weather phenomenon due to a solar flare uh, going through the atmosphere, only visible at night, very far north when the atmosphere is thinner. I was following you until about weather, and then I think I got a bit lost, but it looks gorgeous. Mm. Okay, so here we are. Um, we'll discuss the map in a little while. Hey, mm. Let's just let Kira kind Welcome of explain the campaign a bit. This is the Island Conqueror, a brand new tournament we've set up to find the fastest, bravest driver here on the island. Make your way there we go, so Island Conqueror, fastest, the bravest driver. The There's a bunch of events. Nah. You're going to have it. Right, what's next then? Do you want to bring up the map? Um, we can talk a bit about the map while we decide where to go next. Yeah, so the, the map may come at a surprise because it looks very empty. So uh, actually, it, this is a, a surprise from Kira this time as you are traveling to this uh, new island to take part of the treasure hunt. So we looked at the how uh, treasure hunts are organized in the UK, like, in, like real life treasure hunts. Right. And, uh, so Kira has handed everyone an empty map of the world that you will have to populate yourself. So the map will react to what you're doing in the world. As you are exploring different locations, you will have landmarks and details will start to be sketched on the map. As you are solving riddles, you will get Polaroid shots, uh, stickers, all kinds of stuff that will populate the map. So right now it's all uncharted territory for you and it's up to you to discover what's on the map. This is really cool. So we've just seen there some of the pictures coming in where we've landed at the festival. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to go 
to that uh, speed trap which is hiding Fenholm. That's the one. And as we sort of travel around, things are going to start getting cooler. Yeah, we'll yeah, well, we got Ace. the question for TCS off and the drift road. I think we're delivering it, delivering in it in one go. Right? So this is the first time that you've you drifted this road in this car, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we practiced in that Viper SVT all morning. <laughs> well, I did anyway. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now this. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is the biggest drift zone we've ever made. Yeah. Is that right? Oh, oh yeah. Yep. Like, by a long shot. <laughs> And you guys have been shot. testing this and building the roads, so you must be experts. We've had a, a little bit of uh, internal competition going as well, yeah. Just a right. little bit, been good fun. Come on, what kind of points have you been getting? <sighs> well, well, my PB was 430,000, uh, which was on top for about 10 minutes until I told Andy Varanofsky <laughs> about it. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, you're having a competition now, yeah? Yeah. And and what uh, did you get, Andy? I did just manage to crack 500,000. I think it was 503,000. Right. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which car that was with. So let's uh, put that out <laughs> to the community then. Yeah. How when many, the pack goes live. How many minutes before it's yeah. gone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to say about eight. Yeah. So you kind of see here, it's like how important it is to make each corner flow from one um, kind of one corner to the next. Uh, you see there's like three corners around this section, and a little bump. And as you're drifting around, if you had a more deeper drift there, Andy, um, you could have... Uh, could have felt a little pop on the traction and then it catches you as you land. It just It's a really nice feeling. We've got another question from Cybrook. Any updates on Team Adventure Multiplayer? Uh, tune in for the Forza Monthly after this show where Mike, a special guest from Playground Games, will talk you through all of that. It's quite a nice tidy drift here, man. Yeah, it's not pretty good. Bad, just don't have, like you say, we don't have that angle to uh, yeah. get the big points. Not too bad. Looks like you're going to roll over 200k at the very Come end. On. There we go. Right, what do you think, Sam? Can you... In this car, this is going to be interesting. Right, interesting. Why don't we ask everyone Vision? a mix-up? And I think, um, because we had some comments that said, uh, 65 Mustang, why don't we start to see if that solves that riddle? You okay. can run us through the feature. Yeah, so uh, Treasure Hunter was one of the, the features I was uh, really excited to, uh, to work on for Fortune Island and um, as you guys have been progressing through the Island Conqueror campaign you've seen already that Kira has been posing a few different riddles for you and uh, we could take a look at those right now yeah. um, and each one of those consists of two components so there's the car that's required yep. and there's also an activity that's required um, to complete each riddle so yeah you guys are I've got three riddles to choose from here, so um, you've been dropping hints left, right, yeah. and centre for each of them as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we which one? Hunch. Which one are we thinking of uh, of doing? Well, there was the the mention of the. So I think we should do the sixty-five wild horse one because yeah. people people on the chat have suggested that that's the Mustang. So let's uh, sure. let's see if they're right okay. with that. And the next point you said is the gateway oh, okay. car. <laughs> so follow its trail at Viking Bay. Yep, so we think, we think this is the right car, and um, we've got the, the riddle, so let's have a look at the map. And I'm seeing straight away, actually, there's an area here called Viking Bay, and um, we've got a trailblazer, which is right. a new PR stunt as well, which, um, let's, go and, let's go and check that out. We'll drive over there in the, uh, in the Mustang. Well, it's good, uh, good intuition because I saw that you kind of you went straight to Viking Bay there. He's never done this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not like a, a you know a design feature. Or anything. Um, so this is the 1965 Mustang. What a car! Yeah, it's gorgeous, absolutely stunning. I've always wanted a classic. Yeah. Classic American sort of car. I think Mike does as well. Yeah. He really likes his uh, his Americana. Great. Yeah. Man of good taste. That was, a, that was a good view of the Aurora as well. I know, and um, actually, do you know, Arno asked us earlier to like stop, but you can see now we're going a bit slow. You can see it all kind of moving and twinkling. So here we go, down to the beach. We've got our destination there. So uh, am I right in saying this is the first time we're showing off Trailblazer? Yeah, it is, yeah. So why don't you... Um... So it's our new uh, PR stunt. And... Uh, as I learned yesterday, it's hard to talk and drive at the same time, but I'll do my best. That's why I'll put you in the position. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Andy. Um, I really like this one because um, we've got to choose a path across the, uh, 
across the landscape here to reach this destination as quickly as possible. And um, I'm just beelining it pretty much, but there is a, there's, a, there's a subtlety to it where we can choose different routes. Whoa, that was, that was close to the top of the cliff there. Um, yeah, so uh, there's actually like a cliff that you guys would have seen during the, uh, sorry, a cave during the initial drive. I could have gone that way. Um, but I chose to just beeline it across uh, across the uh, the landscape here, and that might not have been the quickest route. You're gonna um, make it though. You're gonna make it. Gonna make it through the flares. There you go. And everyone was right. We have solved the riddle. We have. There you go. So this is the second stage of the riddle now. We've got a, a photograph, a picture clue, as to where the treasure is that is up for grabs um, in this stage of the treasure hunt. So by completing each riddle, you get these photographs. All right. But instead of, instead of going to find that chest immediately, why don't we have a look at solving uh, riddle number two as well? See okay. See what we get to. So what about this then? So, Italian 458, mm. what could it be? <laughs> <laughs> I think we could ask people, but I suspect that they would know. Let's see if, uh, let's see if we've got a, a 458 in the... Uh, yeah, maybe our garage, garage. can solve yeah. the riddle. <laughs> Oh, so um, we should also mention that now that we've solved the riddle, we've got this uh, this map radius as well, uh, to help point us in the in the right direction as to where the uh, the, the photograph, which has also appeared on on the map. Oh, that is um, cool. Yeah. So yeah. you can match. So you're looking for that picture. That's right. Taken yeah. from the shot of the kind of tree there, I can see with the drift roads and it's high up, and then mm -hmm. somewhere in that radius. So yeah, there's there's. Uh, there's the radius to, to help us as well. Holman is like um, an ancient burial mound where uh, the original builders like made a stone structure, but the earthworks have, have worn away and left like a, a skeleton of this stone uh, behind. And the mountain kind of looks like that, so that's how it got its name. I never knew. I never knew. Right, let's have a look. Let's hop into drone mode. Have a look at the uh, the chest, so people know what they're looking for. Where are we? Oh, never mind that. Please put that there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Classic Forza Horizon bonus board just teetering on the edge of that uh, edge of that rock there. Yeah, I can see something glow beneath it. There we go. Just there. There we go. Let's get a little closer. So these these shields appear with every chest. That's right. Yeah. So you'll know you're getting close when when you see the shields basically, and uh, they've got the nice phosphorescent effect going on there. So a um, bit easier to spot in the dark. Yeah. There you go. There is our. Ancient Viking treasure. Come on then. Should we uh, have yep. a go? At yeah, I'm desperate. Desperate to see what you're going to win. <laughs> I'm desperate to see if I can not hit that rock <laughs> just to the side of it as well and uh, That's so tumble bad. down. Tumble down a mountain. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. This could be unspectacular. So this is this is one of ten. That's right. Yeah, ten there riddles, are there are ten, ten there are ten rounds of the Island Conqueror campaign and each one comes with its okay, own. Here we go. Uh, riddle for you to do. Oh, oh he's no. Hit the rock, but it's a perfect barrel roll. Amazing. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. So as you saw there, a million credits. A million so credits. A million credits per treasure chest. And yeah, I'm beginning a Eurus. And a Eurus. Why don't we why don't we jump into the twenty nineteen Eurus and uh get back to some Trailblazer gates as well? Yeah. You can tell us a little bit about the uh the car Andy? Yeah. So this is the uh, the brand new Lamborghini SUV, the Eurus. It's a bi turbo V eight, six hundred and fifty horsepower. I love it because it still looks like a Lamborghini, even yeah, though yeah. it's uh, four-wheel drive. So the concept car has been around for yeah, a while, yeah. hasn't and it? But this uh, is the full fat. Yeah, we gave you um, a chance to drive that early on in Horizon 3. I yeah. believe it was uh, one of the cars that you could have chosen. But yeah, this is now the production model. Uh, not the first time that Lamborghini have had a go at an SUV either, is it? The uh, 1980s, they did the uh, LM002. But, um, and this has got some, uh, yeah, some sort of little nods to that as well. But it's great. It's, uh, I, yeah, I love the matte, matte paintwork as well. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. it's really, really cool. I actually, uh, I saw one of these not too long ago in bright yellow, and uh, it, it looked it really obnoxious, as you <laughs> would, as, as you would want from a Lamborghini. But uh, it, it looked really, really cool on the road. And I think, you uh, say obnoxious, yeah. I say uh, kind of beautiful. Actually, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's really stylish. Yeah. I love the tail lights there as well. Right, let's have. So I promised we would do some more trailblazer. Let's have a look on the map. Okay, see what right. we're going to go and do in this. What would you uh, what would you recommend the ones that are on the map at the minute, Matt? Yeah, what have we? Uh, what so have we've we got, got one right at the top there near the uh, near the foot of the mountain. Oh, great! That that's probably my favourite one because, um, as I was saying before, the view from up that mountain is, right. is incredible. So yeah, we will we will drive yeah. up there. 
And the interesting thing about this one as well, you can see that the destination was on the, on the west coast there, is that you're flying down the mountain and wheels in the air are not helping you go faster. So you need to pick a route where you stay on the ground uh, as much as possible in order to get a good time. So, this, so every time you leave the ground, you're losing speed? Yeah, because the time. wheels are not propelling you forwards anymore. So uh, yeah, you need to uh, think carefully about the route you're going to take. All right. While we're heading there, I am going to just kind of ask everybody to um, bear with us because we've lost a screen just in front of us, but we're heading to the Trailblazer Gate. It's just 